Write a C program to split even and odd elements of an array into two separate arrays. Observe here even and odd elements of an array and not even and odd positions of an array. Those are two separate things. So let me explain you this problem statement visually. So assume that we have a of 10 and user has entered 10 elements to it. We need to separate the even elements and odd elements and create two separate arrays for that. So that's the problem statement. So this for loop executes from 0 to 9 for each iteration. Every element is fetched and checked if it's perfectly divisible by 2. If it's so, it's transferred to even and if not, it's transferred to odd array variable. Okay. So we already know that we need at least three array variables. A of n will be taken as original array and we need to separate this and create two arrays. I'll call it even and odd. I for for loop. I'll take k1 and k2 as indexes for even and odd array variables. So let me declare a macro n here and assign it a value of 10. So now let me assign this size to all three variables the same size because if user enters all odd numbers then we need to transfer all the elements to the variable odd and the array variable even will have nothing inside it. Okay that's the maximum size of even and odd. Okay. So now let me ask the user to enter percentage D integer numbers. Okay, enter percentage D integer numbers and the value is present inside the macro N. Now the usual for loop, I should be initialized to the first index which is zero. This for loop executes until i is less than n. For each iteration of this for loop, increment the value of i by one. Now for each iteration, prompt the user to enter a number, integer number, okay? And store it inside the original array a of n. Now, after taking 10 inputs from the user, we traverse the array one by one we fetch individual elements of the array. Let me write the for loop once again, the same for loop. I should start from zero and iterate till i is less than n, which means nine. For each iteration, increment the value of i by one. Now we check if the selected array element, which is present in a of i is perfectly divisible by two. That means that selected array element is even, even number. So we will transfer that element to the array variable even. I'll have this as index k1. So assign a of i to it. So let me initialize k1 to the first index, which is zero. I'll initialize zero to k2 as well. Now increment the value of k1 by one for each iteration of this for loop, okay? Sorry, for each assignment of a of i. Similarly, I'll do the same for odd. If a of i is not perfectly divisible by 2, then transfer the element present in a of i to odd of k2 plus plus. Whenever there is an addition of any element to this, these arrays even and odd, increment the value of k1 or k2 based on the insertion. Okay. Now let me output the elements of array even and odd. So array elements of even of percentage D are slash n, the value is present in K1, that's the index, wherein we have the number of elements present inside this array variable even. So iterate this for loop until i is less than K1. And for each iteration, increment the value of i by one. So let me display the elements of array variable even. So printf percentage d, I'll, I'll have slash t tab character, three spaces character, okay? So the result is present in e1 of i. Let me copy and paste these three lines of code. For array variable odd, the index is present inside k2. So this for loop should execute from zero to k to minus one. Okay. After this, let me introduce a new line character. 
to make sure the output is clearly visible okay oh we have an error here variable odd set but not used we have not used it okay we have used this even we need to use odd here not even we are printing the elements of array odd right so let me compile once again okay it compiled it successfully let me enter 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 and 20 so array variable even has five elements array variable odd has five elements so 12 14 16 18 is even 20 is even okay now let's check for odd elements 11 is odd 13 is odd 15 is odd 17 is odd and 19 is odd okay so we have odd of five five elements even of five so we have five elements further add these indexes 5 plus 5 gives 10 which is equal to the size of original input array one more thing we have took inputs from this for loop we have checked for even odd from this for loop we have printed elements of even and odd using these for loops so this is mandatory but we could eliminate this for loop right so let's see how we can do that first we ask the user to input an element once user inputs a number integer number we could immediately check if the user input number is even number or odd number right we need not go through every element once again using another for loop right so we modulo divide it by two if it's zero then store the number inside even or else store it inside odd that's it i guess very compact logic and eliminates the need for another for loop okay i'll give one two i'll give more more odd numbers here so that the array variable size the resultant array variable size differs now i'll give 11 13 15 and 16 16 is even number but it's okay so even numbers there are four even numbers and six odd numbers these are odd numbers and these are even numbers so let us check that 2 is even 4 is even 6 is even and 16 is even okay now the odd numbers 1 is even uh, sorry 1 is odd 3 is odd 5 is odd 11 13 and 15 are odd so we have four even numbers and six odd numbers which means four plus six is ten again equals to the size of user enter array so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic please stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog please share this video with your friends on whatsapp telegram linkedin twitter facebook etc and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you